Here's a little one through six nine for you. Okay, so we only counted the number nine. When you get to ten, you're back to one. Eleven's one plus one, that's two. You just do the sigmas for this stuff, all right? So let's prove God with this. So you got one God over the waters. I drew this already, so whatever I gotta do in three minute video, it's gonna take a little bit of time. One God over the face of the waters, which would be two. This would be waters. Do 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 right, which would be two, two strokes. Um, okay, we choose this tree. And again, I'm not good at editing this stuff. All right, gives us three. Uh, so, but if God is three, all right, one, two, three, then he also has to be six, and he also has to be nine. Now, no, the number eight stands for infinity, okay? Infinity, like the speed of light, okay, can only exist in something finite. That's why it's called infinity, all right, infinite, because you have to be able to measure it, okay? You can't measure the speed of light in one direction. You have to measure it coming back. The number seven completes things, all right? Uh, that's why you get, when you get a touchdown in football, you get six points. You gotta complete it with another, with the extra point. Six would be God. Five would be the beast. Okay. Four is the earth. All right. And two is water. H2O. All right. There's a reason for all this stuff. All right. So we follow on this. All right. So now if you look at this, we got one. All right. So two and four then equals a six. Four and five is a nine. Uh, seven and eight would be the only things inside that's a 15 it's a six all right so that's why there's all kinds of stuff with this like everything you do kind of uh goes with this that's why there's 5,280 feet in a mile why 5,208 i don't know but it equals a six two miles would be 10 5 60 which you add that up five and six is that and that equals 12 which is a three the next one would be nine six three nine there's an algorithm really for the whole universe it's all based on three six nine for example i said five are beast Okay, you get 23 chromosomes from your mom, 23 from your dad. That's 5 and 5. All right, 5 and 5 equals 10. You get 1. All right, so now you have one human. You got 1 plus 0, right? You got one human. One, one cell turns to 2. 2 turns to 4. 4 to 8. The next is 16, which would be 7. Uh, next is 32, which would be 5. The next would be, um, where are we at? 64, which would be 1. All right, so it repeats that algorithm. Now, notice there's no 3, 6, or 9 in that. Uh, if you don't believe me, 128, 1 and 8 is 9, 10, 11, so that'd be 2, 4, 8, okay? Now, watch this. All right, 1 and 2 is a 3, 2 and 4 is a 6. Now, since energy is never created nor destroyed, 4 and 2 is a 6, and 2 and 1 is a 3, all right? You keep drawing this through, you end up with a double helix, all right, because it would also go down like that. And that's why there's one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit pretty freaking easy it's mathematically provable um and that's why the bible has the numbers and the verses in it because it's it's this and uh